Hi guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. It's Tutor Great here at dahil may face-to-face -face classes tayo ngayon, tayo ay isang teacher at tayo isang tutor. Wow. So, medyo matagal-tagal na rin guys na hindi tayo nakapag-upload ng ating mga bagong videos kasi nga medyo naging busy tayo kasi meron talagang mga bagay na mas pinapriority uh, lalong-lalo na bagong-bago uh, pa yung ating pasukan, yung face-to-face uh, -face natin. Kaya sa uh, pagkakataong ito ay first time ko mag-deliver ng tutorial about sa isa sa mga topics na uh, tinidiscuss natin doon sa ating school. Wow. So, bago nga pala yan, kung bago kayo sa channel ito, at sa page ito, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button at lahat ng button na makikita nyo dyan. And by the way, shoutout nga pala sa mga students ko dyan sa grade 11 sa Senior High School, sa Pato National High School, sa Sagay City, Negros Occidental. So, ito na guys. Let's watch this tutorial. Alright guys, at nandito na po tayo ngayon sa ating computer screen kung saan makikita natin yung ating desktop background kasama ang kanyang mga icons. So, yung ipapakita natin dito ay yung mga mostly commonly used or most commonly used na um, productivity tools natin tulad ng Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, at Microsoft PowerPoint. So, class or guys, no, nakita mo naman, uh, nasanay akong magsabi ng class kasi parati na tayo sa classroom ngayon. So, yung Microsoft Word natin ay tinatawag nating Word Processing Software kung saan ang ginagawa natin dito ay nagta-type tayo ng ating mga paragraphs or sentences or most likely mga text at uh, minimal na mga graphics dito na ginagawa natin. So, tulad na lang halimbawa ng ating uh, exam. No? Sabihin natin yung exam. So, first quarter exam. So, dito natin ginagawa yan sa Microsoft Office Word. Okay. So, yan. Okay. So, makikita natin na um, dito natin um, tinatype. Kasi, ang kagandahan nito ay mas mapapabilis natin yung trabaho ng ating uh, teachers o kasamahan natin dyan mga teachers. Kasi nga, um, isang document lang yung gagawin natin tapos pwede natin i-print kahit magkano or ilan. Ilang uh, copies ang ating gagawin. So, tulad na naman nito. First quarter exam, Power Man Technology. Okay. So, so, for example, Instructions. Example, meron tayong random text dito okay, 5 paragraphs and 6 sentences it's like this, first quarter examination, ginagawa natin sa word processing, pwede rin natin gamitin yung um, letter say for example, application letter so, magyan natin ng date, September okay, um, 14, 2022 the boss the big company Sagay City, Negros, Occidental. Um, sir, I would like to apply as a um, so minateng teacher in your institution. I am blah blah blah, and generate tayo ng random text. Sabi natin and open parenthesis 5 paragraphs with 6 sentences and sabi natin dyan sincerely yours ok your purple that's me so yan application letter pwede rin natin gawin dito is yung ating term paper so sabi natin information and communications technology so Information and Communications Technology Technology is Okay, sabi natin Ano random text na naman Okay, so meron tayong 8 uh, paragraphs with 5 sentences So yan, term paper natin 
Okay, so kung yung makikita, yung word processing natin ay meron tayong um, maraming mga text na in-encode. So, usually nasa paragraph siya. So, yan yung gamit ng ating Microsoft Word for word processing. Kasi kadalasan natin maririnig sa mga estudyante o mga kasama natin, ang tawag nila dito ay computerized. So, to correct the term, it's not computerized, it's word process. Okay, so punta naman tayo ngayon sa ating Microsoft Office Excel. So, don't save lang muna. So, Microsoft Office Excel is a powerful tool. And as you can see here, um, ito ay kinukompose ng mga rows at saka mga columns. Okay, so, ang isang unit nito or the simplest unit of a spreadsheet ay tinatawag nating cell. So, an array of cells lined horizontally is called row and an array of cells lined vertically is called column. Siyempre kung marami sila columns, kung marami yung row, rows. Okay, so, ginagamit itong Microsoft Excel as spreadsheet sa mga calculation ng mga numbers at iba pang mga logical functions na makikita natin dito sa formulas. Meron tayo dito financial, logical, tax, date and time, look up reference, math at maraming pang iba. So, sabihin natin uh, meron tayong um, simple inventory. So, example, quantity and uh, description. Teka muna. Dito sa kabila. Quantity, unit, then description and sabi natin unit cost and then total cost so sabihin natin ito yung example ng ating um, inventory okay sabi natin meron tayong limang pirasong um, sabi natin limang pirasong candy <laughs> Unit cost is uh, 1 peso. Total cost equals. Multiply lang natin gamit yung formula. At hindi na natin pag-iisipan kung magkano yung answer. So, meron tayong um, 10 boxes ng um, matches. No, sabi natin um, 3 pesos each siya. So, pwede natin i-copy yung formula right here. At saka, lagyan natin ng total sa baba. So, gamit na rin ang formula. Okay. Katulad yan. Then press enter. Ito na siya yung total. Okay. So, total. And, uh, pwede natin gawa ng borders. Okay. Yan. So, pag sinabi natin calculations yan, and logical functions, Microsoft Office Excel yung gagamitin natin. So, dito rin, ginagamit yung mga database at saka yung mga load amortizations kasi nga kapag meron tayong mga data na ina-analyze o merong mga calculations na ginagawa, dito natin gagamitan yan sa Excel. Kasi yung Microsoft Office Excel is a very powerful tool when it comes to data handling. Okay? So next, meron pa tayong isang common tool. Ito yung PowerPoint presentation. So tulad nito, ginagamit ito sa pag-present in front of an audience Pwede physical or virtual kasi pwede rin naman itong gamitin um, just like screen sharing over the virtual meeting. Okay, so, gagawa tayo ng example na um, PowerPoint presentation simply lang. So, um, gagawa tayo na sabi natin quarterly report. Okay, so, simple design. So, um, sales. Sales quarterly report. So, sabi natin na uh, first quarter. Okay. So, yung stocks natin. So, example, meron tayong chart mula sa Excel. Okay. So, i-data tayo. So, for example, um, January. Okay. February and March. So, um, sales natin ito siya. So, may natin 10,000 and may tayong 20,000 at saka 15,000. So, gagawa natin yan ng graph. Highlight, insert, at yung graph dito. Okay. So, sabihin natin uh, line graph. Ito, line graph. Okay. 
So ayan. So, pinayin natin at ilagay sa Microsoft PowerPoint. So, ito na yung ating graph. Na, okay. So, pwede natin ilagyan ng design. So, ayan. January, February, March. At pwede na natin i-present. Just like this one. So, F5. Okay. So, ayan yung ating sales. So, Microsoft Office PowerPoint. So, ito guys. Marami po tayong pwedeng magagawa dito sa mga productivity tools na ito. Dahil nga sa um, kanya ang usability nito sa atin. Okay? So, gagawa pa tayo ng maraming mga tutorials tulad nito para sa ating future ng mga discussions. So, just please take note that we can also learn a lot of things using the internet. Okay? So, as a summary, yung most commonly used um, productivity tool natin sa office, ito yung Microsoft Word, Excel, tsaka PowerPoint. Alright? So, I hope meron kayong natutunan sa introduction na ito because we will dig deeper into these subjects in the future posts that we have in the videos. Okay? So, I hope that you have learned something new. At as always, ito po si Tutor ko. Always saying, keep safe, have a great day, and study well. Gamitin yung internet guys for personal or shall we say, um, individual learning. Okay? So, God bless you guys and see you at school tomorrow. May pasok pa tayo bukas. <laughs> Kita kids. Wow.